PewDiePie and his fans are banned from playing Roblox. I mean, last time I checked, PewDiePie has 85 million subscribers on YouTube, and many of those fans are now banned from playing Roblox. So, what did PewDiePie do to make the Roblox developers so angry? I'm gonna spill this tea right now on I know. Welcome back to Inform Overload. We do the news and spill all the tea. I'm Charlotte Dobre. Hit that subscribe for news updates that are actually interesting, hosted by people you might actually want to be friends with. And follow us on Instagram while you're at it. Our links are posted down below. War against PewDiePie, his fans, and Roblox has officially begun. And it's clear that Roblox doesn't want anything to do with PewDiePie. A couple of days ago, you probably got an alert on your phone where PewDiePie was playing Roblox live in an effort to be T Series once and for all. Roblox and PewDiePie previously had a pretty decent relationship. Back in 2015, after the whole adpocalypse thing that was started by the Wall Street Journal, Roblox said that they were happy to have PewDiePie on the platform. They said in a tweet at the time, don't worry, we can teach you how to be fashionable in Roblox, not that you need our help. Tens of thousands of people played Roblox with PewDiePie on this live stream. PewDiePie was bringing in people to the game that otherwise wouldn't have played it or even known about it. Fans were obviously spamming things like sub to PewDiePie in an effort to spread the word. Shortly after doing this live stream in an effort to raise his subscriber numbers, PewDiePie found out that he was banned from playing the game. In a recent episode of Pew News, Gloria Borger said that PewDiePie was banned from Roblox because they said he violated their terms of service. As if that isn't lame enough, his account was banned for something that he has no idea about. He doesn't know what went wrong. He doesn't remember saying or doing anything bad. No M bombs were dropped, in case you are wondering. Felix also watched the whole live stream again and didn't see anything wrong with it. I mean, at this point, PewDiePie is gonna be really careful about everything he says and does. So Felix started asking his fan base if they knew what happened. That's where this tea gets a little hotter. PewDiePie fans figured out that Roblox developers are automatically banning anyone that types in the PewDiePie chat or for creating clothing items with PewDiePie's name on them. One guy was banned for creating a sub to PewDiePie t-shirt on their own account. Another made a Roblox account about PewDiePie and made a picture of his profile just for a test and was banned shortly after. Felix said, it's annoying that fans that want to support me literally get their accounts deleted for adding sub to PewDiePie. He discovered that he was banned for quote, linking to inappropriate websites. So is YouTube considered an inappropriate website now? <laughs> but this doesn't make sense because Roblox's terms of service actually say the following. We may provide tools through the service that enable you to export information to third party services, including through features that allow you to link your account with an account on a third party service such as Twitter, Facebook, or through implementation of third party buttons. Third party services are not under our control and we are not responsible for any third party service use of your exported information. Linked websites are not under our control and we are not responsible responsible for their content. If you have clicked on a website, we are not responsible for said website's use of your data. So uh, to sum it all up, this clearly states that users shouldn't be banned for third party sites that they link to. As it stands right now, it seems that PewDiePie will be permanently banned and if you're spamming his name in a chat, you might get banned too. Roblox staff said in a statement back on January 9th, PewDiePie is no longer permitted on Roblox due to his content redirecting unsafe and inappropriate sites slash channels. <sighs> Give me a break as well as continued inappropriate behavior that would not be permitted on Roblox on his own channel. They haven't said anything about this recent controversy at the time of this recording. What do you guys think about all this? Let me know down there in the comments. For now, I'm gonna do some comment replies from our video. Golden age of YouTube has turned into a dark and scary place. Quagmire said, Charlotte is sick. I'm on my way with some chicken soup. She'll be giggity giggity again in no time. Dude, I waited for you and uh, I got no soup, so. You're just like all the rest, aren't you, Quagmire? Sailor Mercury said, so happy to see Kelly on Inform Overload. I enjoyed her hosting on the other channel. Kelly is the best. If you wanna see more of her, definitely subscribe to our other channel, Top 10 Nerd. Chim Kinnugger said, IO changes hosts more often than Taylor Swift changes boyfriends. I mean, I guess true, but IO has always had multiple hosts. If I'm not in the studio, it's either we don't post videos that day or we get other people to host. You decide. Actually, you won't decide. <laughs> Potato King said, worship your new deity. There can be only one. I say. Pennywise the Dancing Clown said, I like her and Rebecca more than Charlotte. Okay guys, I'm quitting. Pennywise doesn't like me, so I'm gonna quit my job and leave in a box now. So nice knowing you, consider this my two weeks notice. The video is over, thanks for watching. To keep watching IO, click this playlist and make sure you like, subscribe, turn on those notifications so I can see you in a future IO video.